updating a BMW E70 2008. First of all, make sure that you have power connected and a steady 13.8 volts feed so that you won't run into an empty battery and then we go inside. With the E70, the MOST connection is below here, so I have to pull out this panel and then uh, take the, th the two wires out of the panel and put them into the uh, MOS connector, that's the ICOM B adapter. Then connect it via USB to the ICOM A, connect the LAN cable to the laptop and the cable from the ICOM A is connected finally to the OBD and then we're going to insert the key. If the ICOM B is connected correctly and the ignition is on as you can see then the radio should be working. On the uh, ICOM A you can see you have the system so it's connected to the car and the LAN it's connected to the laptop. Laptop is running no connection to internet. Um, virus protection off and the firewall is off. Then we're going to start P loader. Select this one. Is that being started? Please wait. This is going to take a while. Is that being started up? And you're going to create new session. Select server automatically. Continue. It finds the icon. Come. However, the status is not correct. It says co already connected. That's not right. Uh, what I just did to solve this problem was to disconnect the ICOM with the big plug here. Wait 10 seconds, reconnect. And then with iTool Radar you can see it's freed up now. So it should be working. Go back to P. Create new session automatically. And now you can see the status is green, it's free, select it and connect. I was going to read the car, first the uh, fin number. Terminal 15, that's um, uh, the contact, and Terminal 30, that's the battery. They both have enough voltage above 13, otherwise it won't work. And steady, that's the VIN number, that's the car type, and the rest will follow shortly. Session preparation were modules replaced. I already did this update. No replaced modules, so the answer is no. Um, before starting the vehicle program, ensure the basic requirements are fulfilled. So that means that you have enough power to continue.
since I have already recorded the broadcast for a number of steps, let's go to the production setup screen. So if I click the plug menu next to the engine, and you can say I want to program this, I will select it. Now it says try to program. Or, if it's not possible, if it's grayed out, you can say hide all actions. And now, hide all actions. And you can continue. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to set the car coding. By the way, I've started the process at 10.30 in here, so the time is 10.40. Now we have all the things set up, so I can set the action, action number one is not now available, we have to start the process here, so it's determined measures plan. Okay, there's the measures plan. You can scroll through it. It's going to do all that. And what I'll do then is I'll print it. Print measure plan. Okay. And I'm going to save it to my desktop with uh, in a PDF file. Okay, that's the PDF file. That's fine. And I'm going to accept the measures plan. Now if you select um, modules, you will see the time remaining. Uh, if you select the whole car, uh, there's no time remaining. Maybe that's because I already updated the car. And now you can see it's going to save the individual data. For every module, and it's going to code. Code C, code C, that's the antenna. Now the radio will stop working, probably. Yep, the radio's out. Antenna has been coded. EKP coding is coded. And I guess this is a lot faster because I have already done the whole car, so normally it'll take maybe an hour or more with my uh, separate module updates it took about 20 minutes to set and in real time it was about 35 okay this next step so it's now working on the DSC which module was that I guess it was the now it's on the combi At this moment it's almost done, you see all the greens, and now it's restoring the individual settings for the BO, and if you don't know what that means, you hover over and it says the CCC user interface, and it's the, the I button. Turn off ignition, remove key. Insert the key and turn the ignition on. It'll continue automatically. Wait 75 seconds. Okay, next step is going to reset, I guess, the DSC. 
again and here it says wait 20 seconds the DSC and the 4x4 indications have been reset three more seconds to go now it's going to say that you're going to need to initialize the rear power windows and the roof and uh, we're going to go ahead and do that all doors must be closed that's a firm and all positions are assumed danger of injury click ok there goes the left window and there goes the right rear window there goes the roof Sun is almost shining. Ah, left window. And last but not least. The right window. Initialization completed, I guess. And again, you have to turn off the ignition and remove the key. And it'll continue automatically. Wait 15 seconds, six more to go. And insert the key and turn on the ignition. Again, wait 15 seconds. Fault memory must be deleted. Some messages. I'm going to say yes to that. In the meantime, it's. Uh, Five to eleven. So twenty five minutes have passed. Check function. Yes. Okay. Procedure completed. The final report. A little less than half an hour. This is what's been done. All successful. I'm going to print that again to a PDF. And there it is again. And this is it. We're going to end the session. Well, what I'll do, I'll show you one more thing.